Okay, right here I have my power steering pump, the brand new one that I just bought. And I just figured out the, I don't know what you call it, I'm gonna say impeller, the inside piece that pumps the, the power steering fluid, which is just oil, is the wrong direction. So I figured that out. This is the intake where the oil goes in from the reservoir. This is the tube that it goes to my power steering system at the front of the bus. I put a drill onto this end. You can see that nut in there. And I spun this. See how it turns? I spun it both directions to see which direction it was actually pumping the fluid. And it's been, right now it's set up to go counterclockwise and it pumps the fluid. And then I went over to the gear drive on the engine <clears throat> And when I turn the engine over, using my handy dandy wrench, uh, I'm not gonna be able to do this very easily. Hmm. Anyway, it spins counterclockwise. Which means on the opposite end of this, it's gonna be spinning the pump clockwise. Does that make sense? Okay. So if this is spinning counterclockwise, the way I'm facing it, it's gonna be spinning the pump clockwise. It's gonna spin the pump clockwise. So I have to open this up, take the impeller, and switch it around. Okay, let's try that. <laughs> this o-ring can go back in that spot actually i'm just gonna go ahead and set it down on there because there we go I want to take off my glove here. Okay. So this, and there, that's the part that I got to switch out. This little guy, put these bearings back in, push them all the way or what, I'm not, these are not bearings, these are, I don't know, maybe they're, I don't know what they are. They look like needle bearings, but there's something else. I don't know what the... This is not gonna be coming out on its own. I'm gonna have to use two hands. So this is it, it's coming off. Now I'm gonna flip it over. See these directional arrows See right, right there? Stamped into the side, I'm gonna flip it over. Put it back on. Okay, that's pretty much all you gotta do. <clears throat> I'm gonna put it back together and see if it now behaves like it's supposed to. There we go. There's the spring. And then this cover goes back on. Oh, that thing's heavy. It's hard to do this with one hand. Like so. It'll be a little messy because I don't have a funnel. Just need to get a little bit in there. Oop, a little too much. Now, 
now. I'm just gonna spin this with my hair spinner gun. See if it starts pumping oil. Now we're going the correct direction, which should be clockwise, so that direction. And then the level's going down, we should see some coming out there. Yeah, let's go fast. Come on, focus. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, that's good, we done did that. So I'm waiting for that little paddle to come in from the shop in Pennsylvania. They forgot to put it on. It should arrive tomorrow on Friday. Mm, what I'm doing right now, I'm here placing these, these here bad news hoses. You see these guys? That is no bueno. So, those is going in the trash, and here be the new ones. Mucho, very good bueno. Sorry, my Spanish is horrific. So these, made by Gates. It's a good hose manufacturer, Gates Green Strap. These here are gonna go from the coolant line, right here, all the way down to the coolant intake for the air compressor, right here. Keeps the air compressor cool when it's compressing air from the brakes. And then there's another one somewhere, right here. I done did mark them, so I know which hose goes where. Yep. And let's see. Hmm, something else I gotta do. Gotta put the engine cradle back on. Oh, this is the engine hoist. That's gonna come off. We marked these bad boys blue because these bolts have to go back in. In fact, this one I think goes, I don't know, if I leave that bolt out, I'm pretty sure I lose turbo boost air coming out of there. So that's gotta go back in. So these all come out. This engine hoist bracket comes off because it's in the way of other stuff, doesn't need it. And I set it aside, put these bolts that are marked blue back in. That'd be good to go. There's my new pulley. Hmm. You want to know something crazy? These rings, this is the exhaust, right? If you look inside, you can see the beautiful turbo in there spinning around. Hello, turbo. These are the rings that uh, kind of somewhat seal up the exhaust pipe. The exhaust pipe goes right on there. And then these rings expand and seal it up. This one is looks great. See, there's a little gap there. You squeeze it down and then it expands and it seals it up. This one right here, come on, what's going on with this? Anyway, major broken. Broken all the way from there to there. It's a huge gap. Same with this guy, big gap between there and the broken side right here. So I called my friend Luke at US Coach. Thought, okay, no big deal. I'll buy a couple more of these. They're $180 each. Yes, you heard right, 180. Apparently they made a platinum. So, I ain't paying that much money. We'll just make this work. Not sure what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna figure out a cheaper solution. What else is going on here? That's my goodie bag, my oil for my power steering. Oh, transmission. Found out where the sensor was that broke off right there. And I ordered one today. They're sending me a new one, $65. So that'll be all set. Hopefully it'll come in early next week. There's all my coolant, 25 gallons worth. To replace the 25 gallons, I dumped all over the ground and into my oil pan, right down the drain. It's almost $300 of the coolant right there. Good stuff, Detroit Power Cool. It's the only way to go when you're running a two stroke like this. And let's see, what else? Hmm. Okay, I think that's all, folks. I think that's all. Oh, I gotta put the starter back on. Where is it? It's missing. <laughs> there it is, hello, my friend. We're gonna put him on soon. Hmm, what else? Ooh, combos. <laughs> Look at that, goodness. I have no idea why I'm talking like Matt Hasty. 
but it's fun.